Good morning. Good morning from the parking garage at the hospital. And I feel that it's only right to, um, I, <laughs> what? What? I was right. thinking of like Mario and doesn't he like power up, like go like this or something? Whee! I feel like we need to like put on our power suits. We're going in for CF clinic. Let's do this. All right, we're here. Same window cell, different reason. We are checked in, and I'm reminded how different it is to come to a scheduled CF appointment. Like. Oh, now versus a year. The last, you know, six years, or, or really, probably 10 years. It's just, it was always sick visits instead of a scheduled CF clinic appointment. I was thinking, um, I feel like since I'm just about to turn 31, this is like my healthy baby visit. Like when your baby turns the next year old, you take them in for their like pediatrician visit. Because it's like, one year on track after? I'm here. Well, yeah. And just oh, you usually yeah. take your child, like normal oh, child, like around their the birthday. birthday. Yep. So I'm here for my healthy baby visit. I mean, we are very thankful that we don't have any worries about my lung function declining right now. I have a home PFT machine, so we know that my PFTs are pretty stable. We're so thankful for that. We do have quite a few things to talk through with the team. Um, but as far as like my... State of your lungs. Yeah. Um, when we were... Go ahead. We're thankful to have stability there. Yeah. When we were walking up here, I was thinking like... I really don't have a worry right now that my lung function is dropping, but I'm sure there will be that day. Mm. And um, that could start to make me cry, but we're not there right now, I don't think. Uh, so we will be thankful for today, the stability that I'm having and gear up for whenever it changes. Um, but I was thinking like same window cell as during that transplant evaluation yes. week, which was insanity. Um, just the number of appointments and all that. These I window cells were like. I think we're in that window cell. Oh. <laughs> but this hallway. Yeah. yeah. Um, yep. The level of uncertainty and all of that. What a difference mm. to be like, we're not actually worried about my stability right now. And that's a very unexpected gift. And it's hard to believe that was like almost a year and a half ago, or a year and three months ago. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, that's crazy. The other thing that I really like about this appointment is that about two weeks ago, I did lab work and my sputum sample. So I don't have to get blood work today unless something crazy comes up and they want extra blood work. Um, I really like having those things done ahead of time. So. Because then we can talk about those results yeah. during the clinic as opposed to after the fact. Right. Mary's on top of things like that. Well, I really appreciate being able to talk through that sort of thing. So I appreciate having the results before my appointment, like going into the appointment. Right as I usually get into the clinic room, the first thing I do is sit down and then rip my mask off and then I'm like, oh, I'm in my room, I can breathe. But not now. <laughs> Everybody wear, wears masks all the time in here. So, no breathing break for me until I do PFTs, I guess. So, I get to breathe when they ask me to run a marathon. There you go. Doing PFTs is super exhausting. You got this. You got this. Okay, Mary's in getting her PFTs, which is pulmonary function test if you're new around here. And she has me on FaceTime, so I can join her. Go, Mary. I'm on mute. She can't hear us, but we're cheering for her. Good job. All good. Finished PFTs. Stable. Yes. <coughs> I'm finding every time I cough in the hospital setting, I'm feeling like people are going to like look at me. You're like, it's not wrong. <laughs> Well, like, what is it, two hours later? Yeah, something like that. We 
are done. Oh, remember how we were hoping for clear communication? And then I realized we're all gonna be wearing masks, which is like a can be a communication barrier. It was great. Oh. We were able to talk through all the things we wanted to talk through. Starting some new meds, headache stuff. Gonna do, we're gonna figure stuff out. Oh, yes, so right. thankful. Oh. Woo! We made it to the car, we took off our masks. We feel like a burden is lifted off of our shoulders. You know, preclinic stress, it's real. Also, mm. wow, I never get to cut a bracelet off you. They have like, they put a bracelet on you when you get COVID screened when you enter the <coughs> hospital. <coughs> Very nice color of the day today. Lavender. Okay, you guys, so basically, we talked about all of it. The fatigue, I'm having some kidney weirdness the last few months, we talked through that. I'm gonna be starting a preventative headache medicine and a different like breakthrough headache medicine. Stuff I've never been on, so we will kind of see how it goes. Um, possibly going to see a few different specialists. I mentioned how I missed, uh, I missed my ultrasound appointment for my spleen and liver. And she was obviously like super understanding about that. Um, but we do need to talk to my liver doctor. And they might, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. They might reschedule that, might add on the kidney imaging to see if there's anything going on there. Yep. And lungs are stable, weight is stable, those things we already kind of knew. Um, she, this was really like, you know when somebody validates how you feel, it goes so far. If somebody's like, oh, I hear you, and that would be difficult. So my doctor pulled up my cat, my last CAT scan of my abdomen, like my liver, my spleen, and nobody's ever shown me how squished my abdominal cavity is, and she was like, look at this, and she was showing us the CAT scan. She was showing us how big a liver is supposed to be, how like it's reaching so much of my abdominal cavity and my spleen is obviously humongous. And she showed me how my stomach is squished in between my liver and my spleen and was like basically saying to me, if you don't have an appetite. This is why. Yeah. Like, wow, pictorial evidence of why I'm not hungry all the time. So, anyway, that was just like, oh, that's so interesting. So, squishy abdominal area, but that's nothing's new. Like, liver and spleen have always been enlarged. I didn't realize how enlarged my liver was. So, anyway, all good. Just feeling so grateful that we did it, that communication was super clear that it wasn't rushed. I so appreciate that. And, um, yep, that's where we're at. And now we're Onward. exiting the parking garage. Yep. And let us commence with birthday week. Ah! Speaking of headaches, that clinic headache though. Sometimes clinic headaches just get better when you get out of the hospital. So I'm gonna breathe some deep non-hospital air and just be grateful. Mmm, Chipotle. Yum. What? Take you back to Chipotle after clinic in Boston. Oh wow, used to be I our forgot. Go -to. Yeah, I forgot about that. I was actually scheduled for a video visit with my immunologist. So she's at that hospital, or no, actually a different location, but they scheduled me for a video follow-up visit. So it is scheduled for 1.40 today. We will get home at 1.38, so that was perfect timing. I already downloaded like if the video visit has to happen on my phone, but hopefully I'll be able to do it on the computer. So I'm gonna get home, run inside, and open the computer quickly. Okay, finished my immunology appointment as well. All is well, done for today. 
Good job. And? As always. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, hair hair. Good night, Bonesy boy. Good night.